there are many people in the Wellsville area that will commute to those towns for jobs. Yeah, obviously, wel welcome our special guest, Senator George Borrello and Assemblyman Joe Giglio here for joining us here today at Jones Memorial as uh, we recognize uh, throughout we have for the last few months our 100th uh, anniversary here at Jones and providing care to the unit to the area for the 100 years. Board Chair uh, Mr. Rich Ewell and uh, Sammy Gilkey, Samantha Gilkey who is the chair of our foundation and also a family member of one of our our founding um, fathers of the hospital as well. Um, and of course, any of the, and all the associates for Jones Memorial Hospital collectively are Jones family. On June 27th in 1921, Dr. Edwin Comstock, and you can see a lot of this on this great timeline that uh, we had put together, a local surgeon admitted the first patient to Jones Memorial Hospital, and that was uh, Adelaide Foland is who that was. And then on July 1st, 1921, the Jones Mansion, which stood just out front in our circle, was dedicated to the Jones Memorial Hospital. It was a 30-bed facility. It saw 450 patients a year, and it delivered 25 babies that year. Today, 100 years later, we, we now have more staff than we served patients in the very first year. We deliver almost 400 babies in a year. We're the only full-service acute hospital in this entire county, so we serve a very large area. Uh, we've been here through the, good, the best of times and some of the worst of times and some of the most recent through this pandemic for our community. And with the community support and the support of our elected officials like Senator Brillo and Assemblyman uh, Giglio, we'll be here to continue to support the community. So after 100 years of caring, we also look forward to expanding our services for the, uh, for the betterment of the community always looking to be ever better. Well, thank you very much. It's certainly great to be here today to celebrate um, a century of serving this community and certainly with uh, your breaking ground back in July uh, on an expansion. It's good to see that uh, especially in our, our rural areas where healthcare has always been a challenge but now especially so uh, and uh, we'd just like to say thank you very much. It's a great bright spot to see not only are you continuing to serve the community but uh, you're expanding and uh, certainly a hundred years of doing so. I've got a legislative uh, resolution on behalf of myself and Assembly son, Benjilio. Um, as you sit here and listen, and you know a little bit about what goes on here and what you guys have gone through uh, since I've been in the Assembly, it's kind of remarkable how well you keep surviving. Um, but what I thought about is when the Senator was talking about is past is prologue to the future. And what happened here a hundred years ago will repeat itself over and over again. Uh, to make sure that this community keeps being served and now pretty much the whole county of Allegheny being served. So was there foresight that let that happen? It's going to be your guys' foresight that continues it. God bless you all.